Hello, my scrappy friends. It is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters. And thank you for joining me for this super fun Halloween layout. So this is the cutest paper ever. I was super mean to Steph one day, uh, the owner of Kidaholic Kids, and she has like on her website you can buy um, – like ra random bag, like random collection of, of papers. And I just needed some 12 by 12 papers. So I brought, you know, the, the 20 pack of papers, whatever it is. Uh, and I said to her, just random selection is great. But if you have anything Halloween, please, could you throw in some Halloween? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to make requests, but yeah, well, I'm on a design team, whatevs. Uh, and so she threw in this piece of, of paper for me. Because I'd brought these super cute, uh, I think they're the simple stories, I don't even know because I've cut them all up, um, thickers. And that is literally the only thing of Halloween that I own. And of course, you've got paper in your stash that you can use. And I have been, but I just really wanted something super Halloween-y. And man, did she deliver. I don't even know what collection that paper's from. I think maybe Cartabella or Bella, Bella something, but I don't even know. Uh, but it is the cutest. So I am definitely super stoked to be using that. As you can see, I trimmed it down a little bit, distressed the edges and popped it onto a white paper. I was, I didn't gut the white paper because I was thinking about um, cutting holes in the black, like eye paper and like ripping it open sort of thing. But you will see by the end of this layout, there's so much going on that to add tears in the 12 by 12 in the background just would have been too much. This is already exploding with things. So I decided to stop. So as you can see, it is t two photos of my two uh, super cute boys dressed up for trick-or-treating. This is the first time we have ever, ever, ever gone trick-or-treating. They had the best time. It absolutely bucketed with rain. The boys and I were soaked through by the time we got home. All the makeup had rubbed off their faces. They looked like they had already had a bath. They were just satched. But gosh, did we have fun. And they got so many lollies. The super cute spooktacular cut file that I'm using is a Paige Evans. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, I think the collection is a Simple Stories, but to be honest, I have no clue because nothing has um, uh, labels on it anymore, but it definitely looks like a Simple Stories. So I am just adding so many things. I'm sort of trying to stick to theme. So where there's the pumpkin, I put the sentiment that says, hey, pumpkin, uh, around the K that's got those. We don't have those in Australia, but the candies that are like corn, I don't know. We don't have those in Australia. Well, we do probably in like a specialty store, but they're not a common candy for us because we don't even call them candy and we don't even really do Halloween. So I'm putting those around the K to keep those together. Um, I just put an, a witch's hat on the O's because it was cute and I wanted to. Then I added that little sentiment that says October 31st because, you know, that's cute. Um I started off by putting that eek down the bottom of the spooktacular, but it really looked unbalanced. So I had to put the boo up the top as well. I didn't have any other one to put up there. So it definitely is getting larger and larger, like busier and busier by the minute. Then I added the, I don't know, gone batty, I think it says next to the bat. And now next to the S, I'm putting on some ghosts. That's not really S related, but the ghosts were just so cute. I wanted to get them on. Um, and this is what I'm saying. Like I just keep adding more and more and more. But you can see why I didn't think I should tear into that background paper. As much as adding some tearing would have looked really cute for a Halloween layout because that could be super fun. Um, I did keep the excess that I cut off the eyes so that I could fit the um, white border around the edge because I definitely think you could tear like rip into the paper and have some eyes sort of poking through from behind. That would look so cool. But for this particular layout, I think <laughs> I needed to stop myself from 
just keeping on going because I could not help myself. I just kept adding more and more and more. So I am actually just about done now. I am just sticking on my last few bits and pieces. These are That one says trick or treat because, of course, it's next to the, the candy, next to the lollies. Uh, we call them lollies here in Australia. I, yeah, it might be a weird word, but that's what we call them. Um, and then I'm putting on some white splatters. You can't super, super see these, but they're fun anyway. And what I was saying before, that's right, is it was quite a lot of time with nothing on screen because I was – putting like the dots at the top of the eyes um, from my thicker pack onto the back of that sentiment to be the foam to pop it up high. So it had like six little dots behind it to hold it up. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, this is my layout. I super loved making it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Bye everyone.